everybody. What's going on? It's Evan Vanderbilt. Welcome to episode four of What's Around the Block. I'm here with the one, the only, John Filson. John Filson. It's freezing outside. It's, it's so super cold. windy, but we're going to do it anyway. It was, it was seven, no joke, 70 degrees in DC yesterday, and today it's like 20 something. It's like snowing and freezing and wind is blowing and it sucks, which probably means that this sucks for you too, because we're recording all the wind. So we're going to try and get out of this wind tunnel over here. Let's see what, see what, uh, what we can get, uh, get away with today. All right, John, lay down for me. Today is my last day at work. And on Monday, which is only in a few days from now, I'm, I'm moving out of DC. It's been seven and a half years and I'm moving to California. More California. That sounds good right about now. I, I think so. Well, well, right now, now, yes, it sounds very good because yeah. it's freaking freezing. What's up with, uh, what's your favorite topping on a pizza? Pepperoni. What's your second favorite topping on a Cheese. pizza? Cheese. What's your favorite ice cream? Mint chip. Mint chip. What is the meaning of life? Uh, to be your best self and to care about other people. Wow, that was a good, quick, I, I don't even have time to come up with something else. <laughs> what, are you, uh, what are you working on right now? Lots of stuff. So um, I made a career switch, sort of, not really, um, but I've been working for a long time in, in conflict resolution. Wow, you gotta really, have you been down here before? You gotta pay for this. Look at this shot right here. This is, this is, this is, this is cool urban artwork. Otherwise, we cheat. Long that was very long, cool. Long story short, my career is in social change, trying to help uh, different groups of people understand each other better, or rather, misunderstand each other less. And I've done that in many different forms. Um, most recently, I've been really into uh, film and storytelling, so I've been practicing my skills. I'm trying to build up a network uh, and a Rolodex so I can work professionally in it. And I'm also making my own stuff. Um, YouTube, also uh, a web series about um, really good friends of mine, an Iraqi family. It's called Fate We Make. And yeah, that's about it. Plus, I just got married. Holy smokes. To an amazing woman named uh, Megan. And she and I are moving to LA next week. Cool. Is she excited about LA? She has mixed feelings. She wanted to. Um, get out of her current current job um, or at least the particular role that she's in and wanted to change and we had a couple options and my family's I'm originally from California so my family is still there so I said well let's do LA and uh, give it a try so it's not as charming on the surface as DC or say New York so you got to kind of dig a little bit and uh, look around for for the charm but it's definitely there, and I think she's, I think overall she's excited to, to do that. What are you gonna miss most about DC? Well, the amazing people. Everywhere you go, every day, there's somebody that's like, so interesting. I've never been in a place really? where there's so many interesting people around all the time. What do you mean by that? Like, uh, like every person you talk to is extremely interesting. Like we have a reputation, the city has a reputation for being very politics oriented and like I think it's I think it's a product of being generally very smart. I think the, the city attracts uh, people who have a good intelligence and a lot of dreams and, and they come here to, to pursue a purpose. Um, and and I think what that creates, I mean not just not just Americans of political stripes, but people from around the world. Um, people that have grown up here their whole life, they're, you know, several generations, born and raised in D.C. It's just a great mix of, of really interesting people. Cool. Do you have a favorite restaurant you, you like here? Favorite restaurant? Uh, honestly, in my opinion, I think uh, most, re most restaurants in D.C. are a little overpriced for my taste. Yeah, okay. What's, uh, what are you going to eat in L.A.? Mexican food. Like a proper, I'm sorry, I'm being a, 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 a food snob, but uh, I think California does Mexican food right. I'm looking forward to that. What is something that nobody knows or understands about 
states about conflict resolution? Um, I can rephrase that if you'd like. No, I get your, uh, I get your, your meaning. I, I don't think there is anything that, that nobody knows, but I think it's a dynamic under the surface that is always happening with us interpersonally and especially socially that we don't, we're not always clued into. So how does, you know, your, your feelings about a certain kind of person in your neighborhood or a certain kind of person in, in the world, nationality or ethnicity or religion, how are your, you and people you identify with, your identity group, how do you think about other people and how do those ideas get formed? What happens to them when, when problems are introduced? Like uh, political divisions and, um, you know, scarce resources of some kind. That's when the going gets tough. Well, I, I think um, if I had to say one thing about conflict resolution, it would be that it's, it's a part of being human, or rather, conflict is a part of being human. And it's not bad. In fact, it can be very constructive. It's more in how we respond to conflict. And, uh, and I think if people are aware of interpersonal dynamics and social dynamics and how that creates animosity or mistrust or stereotypes and ultimately war and death and horrible things, um, I think we can progress as a human species so I don't know. That's a whole bunch of. That was fucking awesome. Whole bunch of nonsense. Ten seconds. We're almost here. Yeah. Any last that was words? fast. Um, EBDBJL is is the shit. That's that's and, uh, and that's my uh, artist uh, uh, hashtag website. And all you have to do is practice it a few times, and and you get it. E <laughs> EBDBJL. EBDBJL. <laughs> EVDVJL. All right, man. Say bye-bye. Peace. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.